Welcome back. It's time for the top 10 pony videos of May 2020. A hilariously egotistical stallion sings about himself in this animation from last month's newcomer. Apparently the music is from the audition of Hans from Frozen. I am charming, oh so charming. It's alarming how charming I feel and so pretty. Who did that attractive guy be? Which, what, where, who? Such a pretty face, such a pretty suit, such a pretty smile, such a pretty me. Tridashi gave us not one, but two Friendship is Randomly Musical episodes in May. The top voted one is number five. Let's take a look and a listen. Oh, I better take this. Up next is another SFM mixed media animation from Everfree Team. Enjoy this dance club PMV about everyone's favorite blue-eyed mare. It doesn't get much better than cyberpunk ponies. Let's take an autonomous drive through Equestria in Captain Horror's new animation. The events before ponies visited the Kirin village are ripe for exploration. One example being what it must have been like when Autumn Blaze was the only Kirin who could speak for a while. Round Trip explores just that in this stick pony musical collaboration. Is this another one of her theatrical productions? Was that a fake letter I got telling me to be here for a mandatory jury selection? Well, yes, yes, and yes. And no, I'm not keeping quiet. I defy the stream of silence, and I'm not throwing away my voice. You don't want to hear it, but I wrote some lyrics. I know it started with our fear of turning into lyrics. Derpy's off on an adventure to deliver an important package, and nothing can stand in her way, except maybe a train robbery. Kill Me Tupaza is a master of creative and unique animations. Upon first viewing, most people, including myself, are confused, but scrolling through the comments for viewer interpretations is often just as fun as the animations themselves. You simply can't go wrong with a Storm XF3 video. This is his fifth entry to the Man vs. Pony series. They all incorporate incredible Who Framed Roger Rabbit style animation with various short form comedic sketches. <laughs> well, this was a nice surprise. Just before the month's end, Yud High Kiladai released yet another amazing animation. This time it's a ponification of Frostpunk, so it's much darker and sadder than the usual animations about colorful horses. Of course, it's brilliantly well made and worth a look all the same. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Equestria. Who else but a regular like Agro could round off the list? Another show-style animation depicting a day in the life of a pony has garnered a bunch of views and a bunch of your votes. But wait, we're not done. It's honorable mentions time. These Ponytown animations are always fun. This one's a recreation of the classic louder scene, but this time something's different. Very different. Not only does this PMV stand well enough on its own, but it's oddly comforting to see a PMV of this nature for Luster Dawn of all ponies. I think it serves as further proof that PMVs, and the broader community, isn't going anywhere despite the show's conclusion. One more, here's a really fun PMV with lots of little visual gags that are sure to appeal most to other PMV creators. Does this meme-y, low-effort-in-appearance-only aesthetic have a name? Because it needs one. 
It's time for our history segment. Let's revisit one of my favorite underrated animators. Optic Spectrum uploaded their biggest animation one year ago in May of 2019. It's an adorable and touching homage to the show's eldest two sisters. It's also nearly 10 minutes long and fully voice acted, making it a true gem. Speaking of the show's two eldest sisters, you may have heard of this little-known animation called Lullaby for a Princess. I wouldn't blame you for not hearing about it. It only has a mere 35 views after all. 35 million views, that is. Thank you so much to all who voted. I hope to hear from you next time the polls open. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the pony videos.